treasury warrant it's not a negotiable instrument why is a treasury um warrant a negotiable instrument no a treasury warrant is not a negotiable instrument it is an instrument issued by the treasurer of the philippines in payment of the obligation of the government its payment is subject to the availability of funds in the budget hence the order is not unconditional so therefore um treasury warrant is not negotiable instrument the same with postal money order next holder we are always talking about holder but um what does holder refer to what does holder refer the term holder refers to the payee or endorsee of a bill or or note who is in possession of it or the bearer thereof. The term holder refers to the payee or endorsee of a bill or note who is in possession of it or the bearer thereof. Holder, again, from Lim versus CA 251 Scrap 408 1995, it's the payee or the endorsee. Pay, the one who will be uh, paid. Diba? The one who will be paid because payer is the one who will be paying. Endorser is the one who endorsed. Mm -hmm. So again, pay is the one who, we, who will be paid because payer is the one who will pay. So holder refers to the payee or endorsee of a bill or note who is in possession of it, possession, possessing the instrument or the bearer thereof. Now, there are two requisites of a holder. First, physical possession of the instrument you say the actual holding of the instrument the actual holding of the check next it's the right to be paid there under the terms of the instrument that is as payee or endorsee so again the holder must have the actual possession physical possession of the instrument and that holder must be holder in due course he must have the right to be paid there under the terms of the, the instrument as a payee or the endorsee. Continue. What is a holder? He is a person who complies with the two requisites. Yes, he must have physical possession of the instrument and he must, he must have the right uh, to payment under the terms and or provisions of the instrument. Payment out of a particular fund the problem the instruments the instruments provide the instrument provides manila third my 31 1999 pay to y or order 10,000 pesos from the accounts payable signed x and to what and to z so there is the word order the term or the term order so it means to say it is negotiable is the avab instrument negotiable let's see no okay so our first answer is that it's a negotiable instrument because of the phrase of the term order but no the term the instrument is payable out of a particular fund payable out of a particular fund the order is therefore conditional oh okay in as much as it depends on whether or not there is such fund available i okay so it means to say now it is already very clear that to be a negotiable instrument not just only the word order or bearer must be present but also um there must be no there must be no condition otherwise it will become a um what we call this postal money ordered or treasury treasury warrant mm. treasury warrant yes because here in this instrument there is specifically stated that accounts payable so therefore um from the accounts payable so it is a condition the ten thousand pesos to be paid to why will come from the fund 
of will come from the fund of accounts payable so that is a condition therefore this instrument is not uh, negotiable hmm? the instrument is payable out of a particular fund accounts payable oh, so therefore conditional and it depends whether or not there is such fund available problem next manila june 1 1999 um pay to y or order 10,000 pesos to be debited against accounts payable again pay to y or order 10,000 pesos to be debited against accounts payable signed x to z so here is the instrument um negotiable so we will yet yet rebuild the answer if we will look at here it's negotiable because of the term order but debited against accounts payable so it's some it is somewhat conditional but let's see the answer yes the instrument is negotiable because the order is unconditional in as much as the payment has to be made from whatever source of funds there may be. Okay. From the phrase debited against accounts. Debited against accounts payable. So that's the term that makes it um, unconditional. Because it has to be made from whatever source of funds there may be. So, uh, negotiable. Next. It is after payment is made that the debiting against accounts payable is made. This is for accounting purposes only. <clears throat> it is after payment is made that the debiting accounts against accounts payable is made. After payment. So, payment first, then debiting against accounts payable. This is for accounting purposes only. Now, that's that is the um, <clears throat> the the logic behind there. Debited against payable account uh, accounts payable. It means to say it is after payment. Payment first, then debiting against accounts payable. Next, instrument payable on demand payable on demand it is an inst when an instrument when is an instrument payable on demand first when it is stated in the instrument to be payable so so payable is stated in the instrument to be payable so example the instrument provides manila june 1 1999 Pay to Y or order 10,000 pesos upon demand. So stated therefore. Stated thereof rather. When it is stated in the instrument to be so payable upon demand. When no time or date is stated in the instrument for its maturity. So again first, when it is payable so demand. Diba payable on demand when it is stated stated in the instrument to be payable on demand and when there is no date or time in the instrument for its maturity so just simply um, pay to Y or order 10,000 pesos that's simply sign X so therefore payable on demand there is no time or date um, for maturity next when instrument is overdue overdue already when an inst when in when is an instrument overdue if we know already overdue from the word overdue uh, it laps the due it it is all uh, it laps already it exceeds already the from the date of the due or from the due date so first question uh, answer when is an instrument overdue after midnight of the date of its maturity so after midnight example when the instrument matures on december 25 1993 such instrument is not yet overdue until after midnight of such date 
So again, um, when the instrument matures on December 25, 1993, so 12 a.m. of December 25, 1993, after the, um, after 11.59 p.m. After that, 11.59 p.m. It's already 12 a.m. of December 6, at uh, December 26. So therefore, there is already overdue. Again, um, December uh, 12 midnight of December 25, 1993. On 11.59 p.m. 11.59 p.m. of December 25 after that 11.59 p.m. of December 25 that is already December 26 so overdue order to pay in money or deliver goods order to pay the instrument provides Manila, June 12, 1999. Pay to Y or order 10,000 pesos or deliver to him 100 carabans of first class rice. So, this is now order to pay in money or deliver goods. Sign X to Z. Is the instrument negotiable? If we will look at here, um, order, it's negotiable. But there is or paying of money or delivering him the 100 carabans of first class rice. The answer, is the above instrument negotiable? The answer is no. Why? The instrument is not negotiable. The order is conditional in as much as the choice as to what is to be paid or what is to be delivered is given to the drawee. <clears throat> as far as the pay or holder is concerned, he is not certain as to what he is going to receive under the instrument so here there is a condition order paying pay in order of money in the order of money or deliver of goods so it's a condition the order is condition as to what to be paid as to what to be delivered so as far as the payee or the holder is concerned he is not certain he is in doubt as to what he is going to receive under the instrument that is not negotiable next the instrument provides Manila June 12 1999 pay to Y or order 10,000 pesos or deliver to him 100 can cabins of first class rice whichever he chooses and pay to order pay to y or order 10,000 pesos or deliver to him 100 cabins of first class rice whichever he chooses so um is the instrument negotiable um the word order is present but there is a condition to pay um in money or deliver goods whichever he chooses okay the answer is the instrument is negotiable because the choice is given to the payee or holder as to what is to be paid or delivered to him the order is unconditional because from the point of view of the payee or holder he is certain as to what will be paid or delivered to him by the drone so the very important here when it comes with condition the payee or the drawee is certain is certain as to what he will be receiving or as to what he will be delivered uh, as to oh yes has mm -mm. the payee or the holder is certain as to what will be paid or what to be delivered to him by the drawee next Legal tender. Again, legal tender. Legal tender. Is a negotiable instrument legal tender in the Philippines? Is legal tender. As we all know, previously we talked about legal tender. We were in 
legal tender is a medium of exchange which the um, creditor is compelled to receive. But now, is negotiable instrument legal tender in the Philippines? Is the legal is the check? Is the promissory note or bill of exchange a legal tender in the Philippines? The answer is no. No. Only notes and coins issued by the central bank are legal tender in the Philippines for all debts, both private and public. Again, legal tender refers only to coins and notes um, or a medium of exchange which is the creditor is compelled to receive. <clears throat> Coins shall be legal tender in amounts not exceeding 50 pesos. Well, coins shall be legal tender in amounts not exceeding 50 pesos. For denominations from 10, sub 10 centavos to 1 peso. And in amounts of not exceeding 20 pesos for denominations of 5 centavos or less. Okay. Um, legal tender only refers to those notes and coins issued by the central bank coins shall be legal tender in the amounts not exceeding 50,000 coins coins shall be legal tender uh, i think this these coins are already updated already this at this time next question is a check representing deposit money is a check representing deposit money demand deposit legal tender in the philippines again is a check representing deposit money or demand deposit legal tender in the philippines the check no its acceptance in payment of debts both public and private is at the option of the creditor but a check which has been cleared and credited to the creditor's account which shall have the effect of a delivery to the creditor of cash in the sum equivalent to the amount credited to the latter's account. How is that? How is that? The question here is, is the check representing deposit money or demand deposit legal tender in the Philippines? The answer is no. The check is not a legal tender again check is not a legal tender legal tender refers to coins and notes issued by the central bank for all debts both private and public its acceptance in payment of debts both public and private is at the option of the creditor okay it is already lies in the option of the creditor to pay uh, to pay um to pay the death or to accept check as payment of debt but a check which is which has been cleared and credited to the creditor's account shall have the effect of a delivery to the creditor of cash in the sum equivalent to the amount credited to the latter's account so again if that check is already cleared and credited already it was already credit to the amount it was the money is already placed in the account of the creditor so um, the check shall have the effect of a delivery to the creditor of cash in the sum equivalent to the amount credited to the latter's cash so again um, check is not a legal tender here in the philippines uh, because the acceptance of that check as payment of debt depends upon the option of the creditor but in cases wherein check has been already cleared or credited already to the bank and placing the amount of money to the creditor's account the delivery of such check is already has the effect of delivery to the creditor of cash in the sum equivalent. <laughs>